What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Steve over at Chiruka coming back at you. All right, guys. Uh, I just want to make a uh, earnings update because I don't drive on Sundays for the week. Probably getting to have to get used to this screen here. I don't have an update for you guys on my Uber status right now. Um, I would go ahead and say probably. Well, I can tell you I'm going to be going to the hub tomorrow. I'll be there first thing when they open at 10 to try to rectify this problem. Um, I do want to say this, guys. It's not the driver's fault if somebody gets sick in your vehicle. Um, I've gotten some nasty comments on my last video. Or the video whenever it talked about what was going on. And, I mean, some of you have commented, well, you got a lot of cleaning fees. Well, I can't help if somebody gets sick in my car, guys. I drive a certain time for a certain reason. Okay, I'm in a market where if you're driving during the day, you're competing against, you know, hundreds, if not a thousand different drivers in Orlando. Um, a lot of them don't like to work the night shift, so that's why I do it. I mean, I drove, I think my last ride this morning was 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so anyway, let's get right into it. 4601 on Lyft. Uber was 674.58, and then I had $65 in cash tips. Grand total 785.59. However, I did have a cleaning fee. Uh, that one was the kid that uh, he's probably about 10, 12 years old. He threw up in the car. Um, guys, again, it's not my fault that you know over the last what two, three weeks. I've had one person urinate in my back seat. Um, I have had the kid throw up, and then I had, sorry guys, and then I had the female that threw up um, on Friday, which I'm waiting for the dash cam footage to load. So anyway, I went ahead and took off the $80 cleaning fee, um, and then I did. By the way, I have not been able to cash out on Uber. They said I would be able to at midnight and I was not able to so we'll see what happens there so we'll go ahead and divide that by 29 hours so $24.33 an hour is not too bad uh yeah so other than that guys I really don't have any more updates for you um let's see oh sorry about that I don't really have any uh more updates for you guys on that right now um but, guys, look, I mean, I'm a diamond driver. I mean, I know this shit doesn't mean anything to Uber. It doesn't mean anything to a lot of my viewers, unfortunately. But 86% acceptance rate, 3% cancellation rate. I'm a 4.95 driver, guys. I mean, with multiple compliments. Uh, this comment here was interesting last night. Um, I hope things work out for you because, you know, my driver was, was talking about actually he brought up the, the topic he says what happens if somebody gets sick in your car and i'm like well so that basically told him what was going on uh with it so you know there's nothing there's nothing i can do guys we don't have control over it what if we had 10 people what if you did 10 people right and, and here's the thing i even submitted the receipt to uber for reimbursement and um let me see i might be able to find the last message yeah, guys, I've been going at them pretty hard. Let me just explain that to you. Um, so the last one they told me was, your account was recently flagged for review due to multiple cleaning fee submissions. We've assessed the cleaning fee reports and verified the information you provided. If you encounter a rider mess in the future, please remember to submit clear photos and provide accurate trip details to ensure it is assessed appropriately. Fraudulent reports and cleaning fee submissions can result in account deactivation. Uh, now, here's the thing, though. I've gotten emails from Uber regarding this. Um, uh, regarding the deactivation part of... Oh, shit. Re regarding the deactivation part, um, they're basically going to make their decision. Um, I would assume by tomorrow. That's why I'm going to go down to the hub and uh, see what I can do. So I will be down there, like I said, tomorrow first thing. Um, yeah. But what are you supposed to do as a driver if you 
get 10 people that throw up in your car, like let's say on New Year's Eve, I mean, are you supposed to pay out of pocket? I mean, come on, guys. So, yeah, I mean, some of you, like I said, left some comments that, you know, whatever, you know. I drive the night shift because I choose to do so. If you get a puker, if you get somebody that throws up, well, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Uh, yeah, so in the last three weeks, again, one person urinated in my backseat. Absolutely fucking disgusting. Um, then I had to throw up the kid that threw up. Parents blew it off. Oh, whatever. And then now the female from Friday night, which I'm, again, I'm waiting for the dash cam footage to download. Uh, once that does, I will post that up here so you guys can actually see what went down. Uh, because I've got some people that say I'm trying to scam Uber. Uh, please explain to me why I would have a reason to do that. Um, I'm not Kevin, you know, the failed journalist that scammed scam riders with the beans, you know, a long time ago. I'm not, I'm not like that. You guys, I've done almost 1,500 rides in less than a year for Uber, and I'm a part-time driver. But anyway, I will give you guys an update after I go to the hub tomorrow and see where we're at. Um, if, you know, if I do end up getting deactivated, guys, this is a part-time gig for me. So, you know, I'll just continue to drive and just do lift and, you know, do what I got to do. That's all I got. As always, check the description below for more piece of information. Keep doing your thing. And uh, until next time, keep making that money. Peace out. Later, guys.